Hey guys, welcome to the last part of the Ayashima AE86N2 build. If you missed part 1 and part 2, you're welcome to go back and check those out. I will have the links in the description. So after all the parts have been painted and ready to go, I grab my favorite super glue and start putting everything together starting with the suspension. This kit has metal springs as you can see. You can keep it at stock height or you can lower your model with the provided spacer. If you want to keep changing the right height, you can cut a small opening to the spacer and insert it onto the lower control arm. That way, if you like to raise the car, you can simply remove the spacer without having to take it apart. After the suspension is installed, I move on to the interior. The floor pan looks a bit too clean, so I give it a bit of weathering to make it look more used. I dry brush some Tamiya flat earth around the footrest to create a rust and worn look. Nothing too crazy, just a few dabs here and there. Followed by some black panel line wash to make the stripped interior look more pronounced. This kit offers two racing seats, but I don't need the passenger seat. So I am replacing it with this fire extinguisher from my parts bin. I am also stripping a tiny bit of paint from the floor pan under the dashboard to create a couple of worn spots near the pedals. It's a race car, so I want to make it look like it has been seriously driven. Ayoshima kits usually have the window masking templates for the builder, but unfortunately this one doesn't. So I have to make my own using masking tapes.
I am going for the single wiper look for this model and I also want to make the windshield look dusty by painting it. But first, I need to mask off the area where the windshield wiper travels so that part of the windshield can stay clean. To do that, I first measure the length of the wiper using a compass, then make a circular template with masking tapes. I like to be able to see the inside of the model clearly, so I remove both front windows with the hobby saw. If you are planning to do this, make sure to go very slowly because these clear parts are fairly easy to break. And once they break, they are basically non-repairable. As you can see, even with caution, I still managed to crack the edge of this windshield. Luckily, I am able to cover this crack with a TRD banner. I use black sharpie to imitate the rubber seals around the light to make it look more realistic. But one thing to keep in mind is that if you are to apply decal solution around that area, the alcohol in the decal solution will wash off the marker and make a huge mess and you don't want any of that. With the body installed onto the chassis is now coming down to the final bit of the assembly. Before I put the exhaust on, I like to heat it up with a cigarette lighter to create exhaust stings. While I have the car upside down, I apply some minor weathering to the chassis. A waste car isn't a waste car without any exhaust stains on the body. To create exhaust stains on the body, I spray a couple of thin coats of Tamiya X19 smoke. A final touch to the exterior would be to install a tow strap to the front bumper. 
but since the kit doesn't have one, I just simply make one using a short piece of ribbon. So that's it for this build, thank you for sticking around, I hope you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and you are welcome to check out my other videos on my channel as well. Let's enjoy the last bit of this video and I will see you guys in my next build.